And today let's look at one amazing tool. How about blowing air 10 degrees below zero at whatever it is you're machining, drilling, milling, cutting, grinding. This tool is fantastic. Pretty good volume of air too. At 10 degrees below zero, if you adjust it as cold as you can get it. And this end is the adjustment. Out this end comes hot air and out this end comes cold air. And I'm serious. Let's have a look. Now I've taken the liberty of putting a temperature probe in the front of the nozzle. This is a very thin air curtain. This is about 30 thousandths, a 30 second, just under a millimeter of room before these two would be completely pinched closed. So that's how this tip works. I will plug this into a temperature gun, which is a Milwaukee model 2277-20. I don't know if you can even see that. And we'll plug it in and let's have a look and see where we're at temperature wise and what we can get out of this beast. All right, I need to bring our camera up. Let's do that. Ooh. Oh, it's hydraulic. How nice. I guess not. Um, I think that'll show us what we need. I don't think you guys can read that. It's the smaller number at the bottom, unfortunately, that says 74 right now. So there is a couple degrees differential between the wire, which says con, and that talks about 74 degrees. And this here is just the temperature of the wall that it's looking at. All right. So let's see how fast we can get that driven down the second we turn this air on. All right. Watch those numbers. Again, this number means nothing. It's this number. Here we go. Watch your ears. You might have to turn down whatever you're listening to this with. All right, we're to 52. 46. 42. 38. It's really climbing, or really going down quick. Alright, so freezing temperature is 32 degrees, and we are there right now. So typically, I can get 10 below out of it. These units are based on how many degrees below ambient they can give you air. So if your air compressor air is really hot, it's still going to be 55 degrees under that. Right now we're doing 26 degrees. That's pretty low. Again, it's best you'll see out of this unit is going to be 10 below. So we'll get close. The compressor's been running a little bit. So we might not get all the way down that tight. Bottom line, you guys, you can now have super, super cold air pumping on your parts so you can now machine everything faster, drill everything faster, do everything easier because you're not waiting for the heat to dissipate. And you're not worried about your tool turning blue because you're removing too much too fast. So this typically is going to move ahead how fast you can get your jobs done. Down to 22 degrees now and you can see quite a bit of frost is already starting to form on this nozzle. We're down to 22. It's hanging there. It's not going to go down any lower. That's as far as we're going to get today. But trust me in saying I have gotten it down to negative 10 and I actually did about an hour ago. It's just that the temperature of the compressor air is warmed up a little bit doing these tests. 20 degrees right now. Oh, it's still dropping. I'll be darned. Oh, as the pressure in the tank goes up, it's dropping a little more. That's the deal. So we're at 21. That's still really good. Down to 20 now. That's fantastic. 
anyway, think of what you guys can do now. This is a cool tool. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.